So no, in terms of architecture, it doesn't compare with uh, the uh, Canadian Parliament in Ottawa at all. That that is a uh, new. Uh, I found the tour much too long, too slow. Finally, some of those famous Japanese cherry blossoms. I am uh, again less than impressed by what I see characteristics of uh, what you would expect in a Japanese garden and uh, at this point I should be able to list 10 of them but uh, unfortunately that's not gonna but I'm not enthusiastic about it. Tokyo Metro at the Kazumi Gazeki station and I'm in search for the National Diet. The Diet is the Parliament building of the National Government of Japan. Across from me is uh, a map which uh, gives an index or indication of the buildings around me and according to that map this is the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. Um, that would put me right here Ministry of Foreign Affairs, E, Finance, F, and just up here with the green lawn is the National Diet Building. So it looks very much like uh, the House of Commons um, or Parliament in Ottawa. The Parliament buildings with the huge lawns in front. We'll see how it compares with Ottawa, Canada, my former hometown. Foreign Affairs, Ministry of Finance, as I head under the cherry blossoms for the National Diet, just up ahead. So no, in terms of architecture, it doesn't compare with uh, the uh, Canadian Parliament in Ottawa at all, that that is a neo-Gothic uh, neo architecture, same as Westminster in London, and the Parliament in Budapest is also of the same genre. This is not neo-Gothic. Here's a schematic diagram of uh, the National Diet Building. It seems to be made up of two chambers, the House of uh, Councillors and the House of Representatives. Okay, uh, things are picking up. I was just told by one of the guards that the visitor entrance is actually on the other side. I took a tour of the uh, National Diet of Japan. Um, I found the tour much too long, too slow. Um, I found the uh, assembly, uh, the House of Representatives, to be uh, quite austere, quite old, quite musty. I'm exaggerating slightly, but when I compare it with the House of uh, Commons in Ottawa, which is uh, brightly colored and uh, uh, modern in appearance, even though it's uh, neo-Gothic, uh, this one seems rather uh, old-fashioned. What really struck me is that as you walk through the building, there is not one single photo or anything, any other reference to previous prime ministers or past history.
So in front of me is the Diet or National Parliament of uh, Japan. The view behind me is good. I'm right in a bicycle path, so I better move. As usual, no cars. This is an amazing city. What happened to the car? It's been relegated to where it belongs. Took the Japanese to do it. Compare that with Bangkok. I just got out of the uh, Marinacci building right here. Tokyo Station over here. And uh, I'm gonna walk across this bridge to the Imperial Palace grounds. It's really nice. The fountains in the foreground. The Palace Hotel in the background. I checked for vacancy. I wanted to stay there tomorrow, but no. Their $300 a night room is booked. Too bad. And further to my left, finally I see something similar to what I've seen in posters. The outer buildings to the Imperial Palace, the ominous Imperial Palace with the Imperial family, the Emperor and the Crown Prince live in the compound beyond. Cycling staff, yes, Palace cycling staff. So they closed the street for cycling on Sunday, something like what they do in Ottawa along the parkways, Ottawa, Canada, Ontario, where I used to live. Off across the street to the Imperial Palace. Here's a new way of uh, looking at things. Whoops. The idea is to take turns. <laughs> what I'm entering into right here are the East Gardens of the Imperial Palace. Looks like a place where you could spend a day. That's not going to happen, but I will have a look. After walking through the entrance, uh, the first gate, which can only be described as massive. What would you expect for an Imperial Palace? Here's a map of the uh, entire Imperial Palace grounds and it shows where I'm presently at, the part that's open to the public in dark green, the East Gardens of the Imperial Palace. This information panel shows the construction of the Edo Castle in 1590. Coming in uh, April to uh, Tokyo has its limitations. Uh, as you can see, the gardens still in a dormant state, waiting for flowers. But there is a definite, definite lack of tourists at this time. Finally, some of those famous Japanese cherry blossoms. These guys are just coming out, so they'll be good for another two weeks. As I'm headed across this mall 
towards that viewpoint over there. I was talking to a U.S. Marine, and uh, he says, you can see the Diet, which is the Parliament of uh, Japan, from uh, the garden. Uh, surprisingly enough, um, I didn't know it, but the United States has 3,000 uh, troops stationed uh, here in the Tokyo area. Uh, here's a group of uh, undoubtedly tour guides in training. As they huddle and turn their backs to me <laughs> in a turtle-like maneuver <laughs> to look at nothing. Let's see if I can talk over the uh, wind noise. Uh, here's the view from up top and uh, I'm uh, again less than impressed by what I see. Most disappointing is I don't see uh, the Japanese diet as the marine indicated. A tea pavilion uh, from the Meiji era and that's spelled M-E-I-J-I, -I, Meiji area era that uh, characterizes some of the Japanese traditional architecture style it was transferred here. It's a quiet corner, incorporates uh, some of the characteristics of uh, what you would expect in a Japanese garden. And uh, at this point I should be able to list 10 of them, but uh, unfortunately that's not going to happen. Again, I go back to uh, Butchered Gardens in Victoria, which has a Japanese garden that is extraordinary. Having said that, I'm sure in the middle of summer, uh, this would look a lot more verdant and beautiful. From bamboo that's as tough as steel used for scaffolding. To the uh, reflections. And of course every Japanese garden has got to have a bridge. many years of uh, travel uh, it seems uh, Sunday has been a significant day because there have been many Sundays when I've been at some very very special place unfortunately I never kept a list of those Sundays but it would be an interesting list had I kept a list this would have to be added as I am here at the East Garden of the Imperial Palace grounds in Tokyo on Sunday April the 1st. I'm now uh, facing the Imperial Hotel, uh, one of the landmarks of uh, Tokyo. And um, as I look at it, it seems uh, incredibly underwhelming. I come from Canada and uh, 
if you've been to Canada, you might be familiar with the chain of hotels called the Canadian Pacific chain of hotels, which are absolutely beautiful. They're jewels, architecturally speaking. And uh, I live in Victoria, British Columbia, and we have the Empress. We live only a 10 minute walk from the Empress Hotel in downtown uh, Victoria. It's a beautiful style. This here, I don't know, it looks almost Soviet era like. I wonder what the fuss is about the Imperial Hotel in Tokyo. The dining room. And the huge lobby. It's big. And I'm sure it's five star, but I'm not enthusiastic about it. <laughs> 